Welcome. Our presentation is how to utilize an electronic health record system to measure treatment effectiveness. Are you a behavioral health care provider? Are you in the business of helping people change their lives for the better? Do you need to produce regular reports to your funding agencies or your board of directors? Do you have a system for measuring performance and outcomes? Are you thinking about implementing an electronic health record system? Are you already using one and you're trying to get more use out of it? If you answered yes, come join us at the Niatex conference. We are Neil Gare, Vice President and Director of Clinical Affairs at the Phoenix Houses of New England, and Jennifer Butler, Research Associate at the Phoenix House Foundation. We would like to introduce you to the SEST instrument, the Client Evaluation of Self and Treatment. Our clinicians use the SEST to evaluate clients during intake and create a targeted treatment plan based on the client's risks and needs. We started doing these the old-fashioned way, with Scantron bubble sheets and a scanner and then later we adopted an electronic health record and had the assessments integrated directly into the system. This allowed for data to be entered directly into the client's record, and both the counselor and the client could receive real-time feedback they could immediately use to collaboratively monitor progress, note trouble areas, and prioritize next steps in treatment. But while the CEST is certainly a very useful clinical tool for counselors, we saw a way for program managers to take a look at the aggregate data on the program level. Using standard Microsoft tools, we built reports that could query the database directly so that a program director could pull up a year's worth of data from their facility and examine baseline reports, discharge reports, or change over time reports. And finally, we can use aggregate data to monitor overall trends, examine program effectiveness, and report outcomes to regulatory and accrediting agencies and to our funders and board of directors. We will share what we have learned from our experiences, both our successes and also the challenges that we are still grappling with. We hope you will join us for a lively discussion.